Today we're taking a look at indie game Chicken Fight. Fight other player chickens in a fast paced platformer fighter where you use the environment to defeat your enemies. Pick up fishing rods, jetpacks, net guns, and even other chickens. Also, defeat an evil duck in the story mode or create maps in the editor. Now let's sit down with the developer and get a closer look at the game Chicken Fight. Still in school, but not really for um, programming. I'm all self-taught when it comes to that. I'm mostly going through like business and uh, entrepreneur classes because I've already kind of proven to myself, you know, that I can self-teach myself this, you know, and uh, I, I have taken programming classes because you do need a degree for some of this stuff to just show that you've done it. But like I said, I'm all self-taught, especially when it comes to Godot. I've like, I've really messed around and gotten to understand how this uh, game engine works. Nice. And what drew you to this engine? I tried out Unity and uh, a couple days I I threw a fit, you know, I, I just didn't like it. When it came to Unreal, I didn't even try it out really. It just didn't really seem like the engine for me, you know. I really wanted to make pixel art and stuff like that, pixel art games. And when I came across Godot, it kind of like all aligned. Open source, so many platforms you can go to. And the community, the community of Godot is great. A lot of people say that Godot is like one of the lesser engines because like because of the small amount of documentation and all that, that's not even true. Like you look at you look at the Godot wiki and all that, it's just endless documentation. You go on the Reddit, you you post a problem you got, within minutes you get a response telling you like a whole detail, the solution and then the links to the wiki. It's just amazing. I I love every part of Godot. Yeah, that's one thing that really stood out to me when I, when I, uh, you know, I tried Unity, a little bit of Unreal, and uh, as soon as I started using this engine, I realized the community behind it was, uh, you know, really robust. Could you provide us an yeah. overview and everything we need to know about Chicken Fight? So, Chicken Fight, basically, think of like a, think of like a Super Smash style game but no characters and no moves. You throw and pick up and use items and it's like a whole cycle of that. You find an item, you use it to knock someone off the map. You can't find an item, you pick that person up and you throw them off the map. The whole game is based around environmental hazards. You can't kill anyone, you knock them off, you knock them into things. And uh, what makes this game kind of special is like the whole idea of map design being a key element in uh, the gameplay. Every map feels different because it is different. One map you knock people off the edge, the other one you throw them into spikes, the other one you throw them into boulders, and then another one you throw them into a giant crusher. It's just a uh, fun, crazy, chaotic, like chaos. And uh, yeah, there's a uh, matchmaking where you uh, get queued up with random people online and play against them, also with bots. Story mode where it's uh, five levels, and I didn't go too crazy on it. A lot of people say it's the highlight. I always thought the matchmaking was the highlight, but I guess I'm wrong. Next project, I'll definitely be doing more to. Uh, making the story mode a lot better. Overall, story mode, very fun. Every level unique introduces its own mechanics. And then finally, the map editor, which is, in my opinion, the most groundbreaking part of the whole game. What feature in your game do you take great pride in having implemented? Definitely the map editor. The creativity you can have in it. There's a lot of mechanics where you can, uh, implement moving platforms, recolor things, including items, something I didn't even mess it with in any of the official levels or maps. And uh, I'm still adding on to it. And there's workshop implementation, so you can upload to workshop, download. And one of the gr greatest things I've added 
recently too, only the host needs the map downloaded, meaning you don't have to publish a map even to play it with your friends. Just one person needs it downloaded. And I think that's really cool. And people love it too. It's the reason people keep coming back to the game. Nice. Uh, can you speak a little bit about the process of implementing that feature? Like, did it, uh, was it an extremely difficult thing or were you able to, you know, just through with time, uh, kind of work your way through it? You already knew how to, you were going to approach it or tell me a little bit about the process. I had a good idea on how I was going to make the editor work. Everything else, no. It's like saving maps did not work at first. Uploading to Workshop did not work for months. I kept coming back to the wiki. I would just take like a whole week to try to figure it out. And then by the end of the week, I would have learned nothing about how Workshop works. It's just extremely confusing. I struggled a lot. I almost scrapped the whole Workshop feature. There was gonna be no map editor, or if there was gonna be a map editor, it was gonna be extremely limited. When it came to the feature of only one person needs the map downloaded, that was recent. I, at first I scrapped that idea, but due to requests, I kind of just decided to give it another shot and I did it. Can you tell me about the most significant challenge you encountered during the development of this game? Getting multiplayer integration in. I ended up using Steam's tool that they provided. Steam is extremely helpful when it comes to this. A lot of people always complain about like Steam cuts and stuff like that on games. Don't want to get too off topic, but what I see is like that cut that they're taking of your game, they're given plenty of features, including multiplayer integration back. And that's one of the major reasons my game has multiplayer. It's because of Steam, and uh, I. It, they just make it so easy. My original implementation for multiplayer was very bad, very basic. We have footage of that. It's not footage you want to see. It it just doesn't work. Even when I had Steam, I had to figure it all out. It was weeks worth of time just to get it connected to another computer. But when I finally figured it all out, it started to come together, and then. Towards the end of development really is when I managed to get everything working really well. So when it comes to like the biggest challenge of development on this game, I can't really decide whether it's multiplayer integration or workshop integration. Can you provide any insights into any current features you're actively working on? Or any big features? I am working on some secret stuff for my game does have like a big uh, secret section. I don't know if I want to give too much away for that. But one thing I am working on is a lot of community stuff because I have built somewhat of a community and a lot of requests for specific items and all that has uh, come up. I really want to make just a big update of a bunch of community requested features, like specific items, specific modes. I think it's going to be a good reason for people to come back and I might even, I don't know, make another, reach another peak in player counts again. So how can people follow the progress of your game? Definitely join the Discord. Uh, just play the game on Steam. That helps a lot. There's uh, cosmetic bundles if you want to help support the project. I Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I drop trailers for big updates there. Very cool. Well, Adrian, thank you for sitting down and talking to me about your game, Chicken Fight. We will catch you later.